You've got five guard positions that you need to collect. I'm going to put my right foot forward for the first three. And we have a low guard, a middle guard, and a high guard. Now, the low guard, as I turn towards you, I've got the blade slanted away to the side. I don't have it turned behind me. It's still in front. And I can have it at a slight forward angle. I can have it at a slight backward angle, but I want to keep it in the front plane of my body. Middle guard, I keep my left hand close to my center, and I want to point the tip somewhere in the neighborhood of neck or chin height on somebody that's my height. So I don't want to be up here, I don't want to be down here. So relaxed upward angle. And then for the high guard, I'm going to take my hands up over my head. I don't want the tip to go back, I want it to be up. Now, if you've got to be careful about ceiling clearance wherever you happen to be practicing, then you'll probably have to adjust your front high guard. Now we have two more. These are both the back guards. So I'll put my left foot forward for these. Now the back high guard, I'm going to have my right hand across from my eyes, the left hand on the bottom, and my elbow down. So I'm pointed forward, and this is sort of cocked at my left shoulder, and that's the rear high guard. And the rear low guard, I'm gonna fold all the way down, and so I've got this at a downward slant. And now, if I point towards you for these, you can kind of see, I have this along my body, it makes it a little bit more difficult to pick up the range of the weapon. And in the front high guard, because I've got a pure vertical, I can go in a lot of different directions from here. And so, especially if you've got more than one attacker, you have the possibility of needing to go in a lot of directions. It's one of the things.